Hi guys, um, welcome to our new Minecraft uh, Redstone series thing. It's called um, Concept In with Redstone. Uh, basically, it's not actually valid kind of redstone circuits, it's just the idea behind them and just new things that if they could be implemented would be really, you know, or just new ideas really. Like, they're not actually working ideas yet, but it's just displaying the idea behind them. Anyway, this is an idea um, me and the Jassassin have been having for a while now, ever since I think he had a, he's got a video called um, uh, Creative Use of Redstone Repeaters. I'll put an annotation up for you. But, um, yeah, this basically goes off that original idea and kind of works with it to a point where it possibly has a decent use. Um, so what this here is, this is um, a 3 byte memory bank. But not really a memory bank, it's... Yeah, we call it, you could call it a memory bank, but... Yeah, it's... Just think of it as a hard drive. Um, all these just uh, basically... It carries the data and, re and just swings it around, so it's always flying around the circuit. Um, anyway, I'll just I'll give, show you an example of it working. So here we are, this is basically where you input it. Um, oh, before I forget, I'll put these switches. This here basically allows the data to repeat around itself. But anyway, so here this is, um, what we've got over here is the, um, that is the actual memory unit that holds the um, three bytes of data and over here um, this is the tracking um, unit it basically keeps track of the start and end of all the data so when it, this here will know when the data or well, it doesn't work properly at the moment but with a bit of fine tuning, a bit of experimentation, it should work. Anyway, yeah, this basically here, it follows the bits around, so um, I th I'm just trying to work out before I made this video if I should have it so it only inputs the start and end bits, or it should have all, f um, all four flying around. Anyway, I'll just forget about that bit. But yeah, that there, it's got four bits flying around. At, at all times, so because this here, um, you could it it won't know when that if the data is on or off because if it's off, we'll just have a three bit gap. Anyway, I should actually ex show an example so you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so you power it up here with a um, a kind of s delay thing. Anyway. So what we inputted there was a 1001, and as you can see here, we've got 1001. The zeros aren't there because, you know, they just aren't there. Anyway, so then over here, you've got the start, I think this is the start one here flying around. So, um, yeah, this here is just uh, 1111. So no matter what, when that hits there, this the start one should be over here. So then the decoder, which I'm thinking of it being, um, oh, Minecraft Addict, I think, yeah, Minecraft Addict, he's got a, a number adder thing, so it, every time you push the button, it will push the number up one and, and still keep the two previous bits. I'm basically thinking of using that general concept, um, but if there's a blank bit, it will um, just skip one, so it it will. Um, I, I'll put that idea up later, but yeah. So um, as you can see here, then with this we can always input more numbers. Um, the torches, by the way, just so I know when when the bit hits the. So all right, here we go. Damn it! Missed that one. Um, but yeah, as you can see there, I think I'd, it's just slightly longer than it should be. But 
Yeah, so now there, that's um, one byte of data flying around. And you can read off it at any time. But this was the just has a load of decoder, but it didn't work. Because you can probably see why. It's just actually just displaying the same bit all at the same time. Anyway, um. Yeah, this is just a concept, so it probably won't be um, implemented because it's just if you've got 64 bytes of this stuff, just you can imagine the lag. But it could be good um, for ROM or just uh, temporary, right, um, so or just a program that you want to continuously repeat, um, so it just repeats itself over and over again. I'm not too sure if anyone would want to use it for that, but it's definitely an idea. So yeah, thanks for watching, um, I'll see you in my next video.